Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> great, great to be with you. Um, we are just uh, once again flying by the seat of our pants and, and trying to figure out the best way to bring um, the best in music to you in these crazy wild times. And uh, we are so excited to have uh, a musician I have such uh, respect for. Um, a true, true master uh, of, of conical and rhythm, and he's not limited to his own genre. He's incredible pocket and um, feel and uh, open-minded, lovely, lovely person, and part of this incredible legacy, which is the, the whole uh, Vinayakram uh, family with uh, his father, Seva Ganesh, his grandfather, T.H. Bhikkhu Vinayakram, who's going to join us later. And um, this is Swami Nathan Seva Ganesh. He's a young guy, and he's played with all the, the greats already, like Zakir Sain and Hyper Satyarazia and, and Jazraj. And um, it's just so incredible to have him. So, uh, Swami, I'm going to give it to your capable hands. If there's any questions, please put them in the Vusi link, and I will uh, let Swami know your questions. And uh, here's the great Swami Nathan Savaganesh. Taki to Takatom, Katum, Dicky to Takatom, Katum, Taki to Dicky to Tak, Tak, Kinna to Din, Din, Kinna to Dun, Dun, the Din, Din, the Dum, Dun, the Taki to Din, the Din, the Taki to Din, the Taki to Taki to Ta, the Din, Kinna to Takata, Takata, Takata. Thanks for joining me live here and I'm so happy to be here and it's always a great pleasure and great happiness you know like to do anything with the BRM people. It's been like uh, three years I guess like I've been in good relation with them and then it's always feel great and yeah welcome to the workshop. Good morning, good evening wherever you are. <laughs> it's early morning here in Chennai. And I'm really happy to do this. So, mm -hmm. Carnatic music rhythm, I see it as numbers basically, not just numbers, we'll get to that, but the basic idea is all about the numbers. Like for example, for one, we say dum or ta, and for two, we have ta ka, three, it's ta ki ta. Basically, you have like four so numbers, we are respective words. So one is ta, two is ta ka, three is ta ki ta, four is ta ka di mi. So one, two, three, four, it's all enough for, you know, like to do any kind of rhythmic expressions. Because the five is nothing but the combination of two and three, or three and two. And six could be three and three or two and four or four and two like for example two and four two is ta ka four is ta ka di mi so the six can be ta ka ta ka di mi ta ka ta ka di mi one two one two three four one two one two three four ta ka ta ka di mi ta ka ta ka di mi the same six can be you know, like in the reverse way, like four and two. Taka di mi taka, taka di mi taka, taka di mi taka, taka di mi taka. And the same six can be three and three. 
थ्री इज ताकीट सो लाइक थ्री एंड थ्री ताकीट 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 लाइकवाइज सेवन कैन बी थ्री एंड फोर और फोर एंड थ्री लाइक ताकदिमी ताकीट और ताकीट ताकदिमी so the numbers coming after four it's nothing but the permutation and combination of numbers between 1 and 4 so 9 can be 4 and 5 so 4 is takadimi 5 i'm splitting it as 2 and 3 so it can be 2 taka and then the 3 takita so now the 9 uh 4 and then 5 which is 4 2 and 3 it goes like this tak dimi tak takit tak dimi tak takit tak dimi tak takit tak dimi tak takit ta so that's how like with this 1 to 4 you create permutation and combinations you can create lot of numbers for example the 20 let's say the bigger number 20 okay and the 20 can be separated in different ways let's say i'm going to do it like uh 5 5 4 and then the 6 so for 5 i'm taking ta ka ta ki ta 2 plus 3 the subdivision is like 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 totally 10 and then the rest uh, other 10 i'm taking this 4 and then the 6 the 6 is like 2 and 4 so it goes like this tak tak ki ta tak tak ki ta tak dimi tak tak dimi 5 5 4 and then 6 again tak tak ki ta tak tak ki ta tak dimi tak dimi tak 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 ki ta tak tak ki ta tak dimi tak tak dimi tak tak ki ta tak tak ki ta tak dimi tak tak dimi tak tak ki ta tak tak ki tak dimi tak tak dimi tak tak ki ta tak tak ki ta tak dimi tak tak dimi ta so that's what like everything is with the numbers so today we going to see the basic cycle in carnatic music which is eight beat cycle called adi talam the talam is nothing but a virtual uh, metronome and adi talam goes like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 So the one is the clap, two is the middle finger, three is the ring finger, four is the middle finger, five is the clap, six is the wave, and then the clap, and then the wave. So this is this is Adi Talam, and then it's eight beat cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then each beat has different sub counts. And then today we're gonna see like four sub count, which is called chatushram. Chatushram. It means number four. So every beat has four counts now. so it goes like 1234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412341234123412
8th Takadimi. Now what I'm going to do is like taking a uh, 6th Takadimi and then instead of 2 Takadimi, which is like 4 and 4, I'm going to put 3 and 5. Just borrowing one syllable from the previous note on the 7th note. Like 6th Takadimi and then 1 Takita, which is 3 and then 1 Taka Takita, which is 5. So it's like 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5. It goes like this. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, taka, takita, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, taka, takita, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, takita, taka. So again, the difference is the first time I did like eight fours. Now I did like six fours, and then the balance eight I divided it like three and then five. Now I'm going to do four fours and then two threes and two fives. I'm just doubling it up and then decreasing here. Like before I did six fours, now I'm going to do four fours, and then the rest will be like. Three three five five. So it goes like this. Taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taki ta taka taki ta taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta so now again I'm gonna decrease two more and then I'm gonna add another three and five like four four three threes and three fives which is again gonna be like eight fours or thirty two on total just like Taka dimi, taka dimi, taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka dimi, taka dim, taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. And then now I'm gonna do like all threes and fives, like four threes and four fives, which will be like. Taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. So if I just do like from the starting like eight fours and then six fours and three and five and then. Four fours, three three five five, and then two fours, three 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 five five five, and then just threes and fives. It will form like a pattern. If you see, like there will be like increasing and then decreasing. Like the first part will be decreasing, and the second part will be increasing. It's it's a structure, and you're gonna see how it comes. Taka dimi, 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 taka dim, 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 taka dimi, taka dimi, taki ta, taka taki ta, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dim. Taka dimi, taka dim, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka dimi, taka dim, taka dimi, taka dim, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka dimi, taka dim, taka dimi, taka dim, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka dimi, taka dim, taki ta, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka, taki ta, taka dimi, taka dim. Taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taki ta taka 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 taki
4, 3 and 5 we can create a structure and then <clears throat> like in our actually Swami, I'm going to interrupt yeah. you for a second because I got lost yes. there so okay. uh, you <clears throat> are taking groups of Takadimis, you have eight groups of top, and then you're replacing them with groups of threes and with groups of fives. Five, right. right? And so, first you did a bunch of Takadimis, and then you started adding the threes and the fives. And fives. To place. So the first time you you put in one group of three and five, and then right. the next time you did two groups of three yes. and five, and then what was the pattern? The overall pattern again? So it's uh, like it's like uh, I'm taking two beat. That's my basic idea. Like, so I'm in the total eight beats. Mm -hmm. I'm dividing it as six beat and then the two beat. Right. So that two beat is three and five. Got and it. then the six beat is all fours. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next step is like I'm adding one more set of two beat, which is Got like it. three, three and five, five. So mm -hmm. I have to reduce the sixes to have two more beat here. Like to add two beat in the B section, I need to cut a uh, two beat in the A section. So I'm doing only four takadimi, like right. takadimi, 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 takadimi. And then the rest is like taki ta, taki ta, taka taki ta, taka taki ta, ta. Then the next time I have to reduce one more set of two beat in the A section to add one more section of two beat in the B section. Right. So that will be like three threes and three fives. So mm -hmm. it's like waka dimi taka dimi taki ta taki ta taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. And then the next time I need one more set of two beats. So which leaves like there won't be any fours coming, only three threes, All threes and four fives. threes and four fives. Yeah, so that's the pattern. That was the whole composition. Okay. Yeah, it's like you Very have to. Young. If I you want, if, if yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, if you want what. Like, if you want to increase something here, you have to decrease something here to balance it. That's the that's life. Idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Carry on. I'll let you know if I get lost because I'm sure, uh, sure other people will maybe get lost in the same places. Perfect. So the structure is ready. Like the composition is kind of ready. Now there should be an ending to end it. So the ending we always in this kind of structure, we follow like the section B. We'll take that for the ending. And then the ending is called Arudhi in Carnatic music. So Arudhi, uh, it's played during the end of the songs and sometimes like an interlude. And then the Arudhi, the, uh, the formula for Arudhi is like you take one phrase. It can be anything. It can be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, whatever it is. But that one phrase, you play it three times. And then you'll be having a bridge in between those three times like after the one phrase, there'll be one bridge, and then the, the same phrase repeats, and then you have the same bridge. You can't change the bridge, the same phrase, and then again the phrase comes. That's Arudhi. So in this one, the B section is three and five, which is Takita, Taka, Takita. With that, I'm going to create an Arudhi with eight beat cycle. So it is Takita, Taka, Takita, Takita, Taka, Takita, Ta. The taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taka taki ta ta. The taki ta taka taki ta taki ta taka taki ta ta. So in this arudhi, it is like there's a phrase which is like three five three five, and then there is two beat gap. Again three five three five, two beat gap three five three five. So if you see the phrases are same and then the bridges are same, the bridges has to be same. Again, one more time, the Arudhi. Taki ta, taka, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, ta. The taki ta, taka, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, ta. The taki ta, taka, taki ta, taki ta, taka, taki ta, ta. So that's the Arudhi for this. So coming with uh with the last part of the previous composition, which is like three 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 and five 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 five, like four threes and four fives. I'm gonna do that twice and then I'm gonna do this Arudhi. Takita, 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 taka, takita, 
தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட 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 தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கி தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தா தி தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தா தி தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட தாக்க தாக்கிட்ட தா தட்ஸ் த அர்த் இஸ் லைக் யூ நோ லைக் we started a composition we introduced a section b and then we were increasing the section b decreasing the section a and then finally we are doing just section b and then an arudhi with the section p it's like introducing a guy and then getting him more famous and then giving him a finale that kind of a thing is this composition uh, i have a question for you swami how do you yes. know how long the the gap will be or the when you're figuring okay. out that Okay. Yeah so in this ardhi i figured it out so the first thing when when you creating ardhi is like what is the phrase you want to fix it so you fix the fix the phrase my phrase is like takita takata kita takita takata kita which is like four beat yeah four beat takita takita takata kita takita takata kita ta so 1 2 3 4 4 beat so i'm going to do the uh, the phrase three times you know that's the logic behind the ardhi you have to do the phrase three times sure so it's like four beat four beat and four beat which is totally like uh 12 beats and then the cycle is eight beat cycle so to do the 12 beat i need two cycles right like mm-hmm. one cycle is eight beat and then i need to borrow four more from the next cycle at the same time i have to land it on the beat one so i have four gaps left like the phrase is four beat so four 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 which is 12 beat and then i need four more gaps like there is four more beat left so sure. what i'm doing is 16. like i'm yeah. yeah so i'm splitting that four into two twos and putting them as the bridge Got so it. it's like takita takata kita takita takata kita one two takita takata kita takita takata kita one two takita takata kita takita takata kita ta So I decide the phrase first and then I subtract it from the number of cycles I needed and then I identify the gap. Now I will split that gap into two because I need two bridges because there is three phrases so I need two bridges so I am divide uh, that into two and then I put it in between the phrases. Got That's it. the logic behind the ardhi. Okay. And okay. then this same ardhi do you have anything to ask? No 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 that's very clear. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> cool. So this ardhi is like three five three five. Now the same phrase comes three times. What I'm going to do is like I'm going to take one three and one five from the first time, and then I'm going to put it that in the last time, which is logic. Like the math is same. Like taking out one three and five from the section A. I mean like the first time, and putting it in the third time, which will be like three and five, uh, one and two gap, three and five, three and five, one and two gap. Three and five, three and five, three and five. It's like one sets, and then two sets, and then three sets. Instead of doing two, 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 which is the same, I'm just taking one from here and I'm putting that in the last one. So three five the gap, three five three five the gap, three five three five three five. This is like an increasing order of ardhi. It's like another structure of ardhi. So it goes like this: takita takata kita one, two. Takita takata kita takita takata kita one two takita takata kita takita takata kita takita takata kita ta. Again, I'm just gonna you know, summarize the thing. So we were doing two sets of three and five, and then the gap again two sets of three and five, the gap the two sets of three and five. What I'm doing is like I'm taking one set of three and five from the first time, and then I'm putting it in the last time. So which will be like one set of three and five, two set of three and five, and three sets of three and five. So there's like an increasing order. One more time, the other thing. Takita takata kita ta di. Takita takata kita takita takata kita ta di. Takita takata kita takita takata kita takita takata kita ta. So that's one way of doing Nardi. like the big increasing order and you can also do the reverse way 
which is like three times in the first I'm mean like the three sets in the first time two sets in the second time and then just one set in the last time just the reverse order it goes like this so that's decreasing order so we have like an equal order we have increasing order and then the decreasing order so now you can do the anudri three times in the three different way like increasing order the first time and then the equal one in the second time and then decreasing order in the third time which will be like so you can do you can it's just three and five but you are doing it in different orders and different combinations so it looked like a big grand arugi but it's just three and five that's all it is so next i'm thinking like maybe i can show you some like how to go with the different speeds of the same phrase right like the 16th note and the eighth note and then thing so let's take takadimi which is like four syllable now we're gonna give like four count for each syllable, which will be like ta ka ti mi ta ka ti mi. We call this one as kir kalam, like the slower speed. So each syllable has each beat for it, itself. Ta ka ti mi ta ka ti mi ta. Ta, di, mi, ta, ta, di, mi, and the next one is madhyama kalam, which is like uh, the middle speed. So for this, like one beat, we'll be giving two syllables. Ta, ka, di, mi, 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 ta, ka. Dimmi, takka, dimmi. And then next one is male column, which is like high speed. It has like uh, each syllable has each count. Takka, dimmi, 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 takka, dimmi. Now we're gonna do like a one for one cycle we're gonna do slow speed and then for one cycle we're gonna do a um, middle speed and then for one cycle the high speed it goes like this sa ka ti mi ta ka di 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 mi Taka dimi, 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 taka now we're gonna do like in a reverse way, like the high speed, middle speed, and then the slow speed. Taka dimi, 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 taka dimi. So this is how the three different speed comes and 
we have we were seeing about the number four, which is Takadimi. Like if you take five, this is how it would be like ta ka ta ki ta 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 ta we can also see number six how it looks like i'm going to take the six as ta ka di mi ta ka it goes like this ta ka di mi ta ka 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 ta so that's that is like i got a question for you yes uh, these always like if you're doing a group of five you're doing a group of six they always seem to land it, it fits within the aditala structure every time no no only the four goes with the aditala structure and right. for five i was doing like five beat cycle oh, okay so for for this demonstration you're doing whatever yes. matches okay. yeah exactly and then this is about just about the speed how do you Got put it. it it's not about like how it fits in aditala Got it's it. about how you like showcase how you can express the different speeds of mm -hmm. different numbers okay got it so for six i was doing the three beat cycle one two three so it was taka di mi taka 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 so this is one kind of speed and then we also have the natai natai is nothing but basically the counts like we were doing chatushra nade which is like 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 we also have different nadais like kanta nade which is like the number 5 which means 5 so kanta nade goes like 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 taka taki ta 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 taka ta ta taka taki ta ta and then there is tishra nade which is like three syllables per beat three counts per beat takita 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 takadimi 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 takita 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 ta the next nada is mishra nada which is seven counts per beat Takadimi taki ta takadimi taki ta takadimi taki ta takadimi taki ta one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven takadimi taki ta 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 and then the next nada is sankir nada which is like nine syllable per beat for the nine number I'm going to take four and five taka taki ta for five. So that is Sangirna Nata. Uh, these are the different speeds you can explore. And yeah, after 9, if you can, I mean, like, if possible, you can also do 11, which can be like 5 and 6. Yeah, you can do all numbers, but you know, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> so these are the five nuts basically, which is three, five, 
7, 8 and 9. Like Chatusham either 8 or 4. And then 9. These are the different Nadais. And also want to like uh, explore a little bit about the concept Mohara. Like I have 21 concepts like Arudhi and then Pattern. And then next comes the Mohara. Uh, it's kind of like a bigger kind of an Arudhi. Like we have uh, section A, section B and then section C. The format is like, let me say the Mora first and then I'll explain you what it is. So I was using only three phrases for the whole composition. The first one is That's two beat syllable. And then talam to kita taka taka tari kita taka again the two bit syllable, and then talam katunga talam katung. These are the only three phrases I was using. So it is like let's name it A, B, and C. A is tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka. B is talam to kita taka taka tari kita taka. C is talam katunga talam katung. These are the only three phrases I was using for this mora. And then with these phrases comes the formula like the first one is a b a c and that comes twice a b a c and again a b a c the third one is going to be a reduction from that like a b a and then half of c like the second half of the c the c is talonka dum ka talonka dum only we are taking the second half which is talonka dum so the two bit thing has now come to as one bit thing the half of c a b a and then half of c and then for the fourth step we are doing a and then the half of c we are just cutting out b and again the a and then just a and then comes the arudhi so one more time the mora so I was doing A, B, A and then the C. Now the third step like A, B, A and half of C like the second half of C. A, B, A and half of C. One more time. And then the fourth step, just A and the second half of C. One more time. One more time. Tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong kadum. And then just the A. Tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka. This is the format of the mora. And then the rest is just an arudhi with the arudhi which is created with the part C. Talong kadum kadum. Talong kadum kadum. Talong kadum kadum. So let me go the mora one more time from the top. Tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong to kita taka taka tari kita taka tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong ka dum ka talong ka dum tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong to kita taka taka tari kita taka tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong ka dum ka talong ka dum tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong to kita taka taka tari kita taka tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong ka dum tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong ka dum Tatum kita taka taka tari kita taka talong ka dum ka tum talong ka dum ka tum talong ka dum ka tum That's the format of Mora and that's an example for a Mora So I think it's time to invite my guru 
my grandfather I mean, like he's like my inspiration my role model everything my grandfather we could be nikram amazing just give me a second to see sure that. for those of you who uh Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Mr. Viku Vinayakram, um, he is famous for um, he's famous for um, bringing Carnatic music to the, a really wide audience. Um, he is most famous for his work with um, John McLaughlin's Shakti being part of the rhythm section along with, um, well, um, Zakir Hussain, <laughs> none other than him. And um, so it's a super uh, big honor. And, and while we're waiting for, for Swami to, to uh, get his grandfather, I'll just let you know that um, upcoming, we have some really great, workshops where we have uh, musicians from the background of Makam and Raga. So that'll be our next two, but here is Swami Natan Selva Ganesh. So uh, we'll invite him back. Swami, please unmute yourself. Yep. Yes. And uh, so let me get rid of myself here. Yeah. 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 So, ตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินะตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินตังกะระดะกะจุนะตินตังกะระดะก
So the second part was like three fives played three times. In between the gap was like two beat and then three count. It's taka dimi taka junu takita. That was the count, which is eleven. Taka dimi taka junu takita. That's the gap. So the second of the chord is like taka takita taka takita taka takita ta di ta taka takita taka takita taka takita ta di ta. Taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. So the A part and the B part again one more time. Taka di mi, a juno taka di mi, a juno taka di mi, a juno tan dong. Tati kita kun, tati kita kun, tati kita kun ta. Di ta. Tati kita kun, tati kita kun, tati kita kun ta. Di ta. Tati kita kun, tati kita kun, tati kita kun ta. That's the chord way. And then the chord way we usually play three times, either one time or three times. And then when he did three times, he was doing different styles. Like for the A, he played it in different ways, like giving it different nati. First time he played chaturshram, second time he played tishram, which is number three, and then third time he played the male column, like you, like the speed which I was telling you before, the high speed. So he played in the madhyama column, like the middle speed, and then he played tishram, and then he said uh, again the top speed. The, the A part, I'm just going to say the A part in the three different ways he like he did. Taka di mi, junu taka di mi, junu taka di mi, junu tan tong. The second time it's this from tong, taka kita taka din taka kita tong, taka kita taka din taka kita tong, taka kita taka din taka kita dan tong. And then the third time he did the double speed, the high speed, which is like tong gada ding gada taka dan ding gada tong gada ding gada taka dan ding gada tong gada ding gada taka dan ding gada dan tong. So he played the three different speeds, the same A section, to give it in a special way. So that was Vikuji for you guys. I'm so glad he can be part of this workshop. Wow, um, we're we're so honored he could join us. Um, Jim Santi Owen out in California says Pranam Vikuji, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, everybody's so, just so amazed yeah. uh, nice. that. So Jim Shanti on the he said hi to you. Hi, to you. very good. Thank you. And then everyone is saying hi from you. Yes, yeah. such an honor. I wonder, you know, one question that I have for yeah. your for your grandfather is mm -hmm. he he kind of created uh, these kind of syllable these. Um, rhythms where you have a half a beat, four and a half, three and a half, this kind right. of thing. How did he choose which ones were the ones to keep and which which are the, the rhythms to really pursue? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, the அப்பன் <laughs> Ammai ni, ayanum ni, anpuraya mamanum mamilum ni, oppuraya madu pun borulu ni, oru gula man chutramum oru runi, tuip panamu boi panamu tootru vai ni, thuna ya yen nanjam thuna pipai ni, yipun ni, yipman ni, yipmutum ni, yeraivan ni, yerun da selvanum ni ye. So yeah, so that's seven and a half one of his compositions. So what he said is like he takes the sloka and then he decides the talam like 
for this uh, we took a sloka from tamil literature and then we gave a rhythmic uh, expression to that and we were saying it in the beats with the rhythm so he says he don't like uh, choose the talam and then he go for the sloka so he takes the sloka and then thinks what talam will be good for that and so he's he one of the first it. guys to do this right uh, taking these uh, slokas yeah, yeah. that's yeah. his innovation uh, yeah i mean like you know like when you go and see uh, any uh, like a percussion ensemble or percussion percussion concert it will like everyone will be playing together and then they take solos and then they again play together it's kind of like that but he wanted to break that kind of idea and put something new like creating like a song like mm-hmm. there there won't be any melodic player you just need to recite the slogans it's kind of a rap thing you know like kind of a rap style but we are giving rhythmic arrangements and then taking slogans and doing it so you get like a different songs different composition and different beats and you can just play like a melodic thing you know but it's just like pure percussive and and what does your grandfather think is the best way for people just to get good time you know whether it's whether it's carnatic music or mm-hmm. anything funk how do you, how do you get the best t- time the tempo no, just a good feel you know some people can't can't they mm-hmm. wander they speed up they slow down uh you know yeah. அவர் என்ன சொல்கிறாருன்னா எல்லா மியூசிஷியன்ஸ்க்கும் நீங்கள் என்ன சொல்ல விரும்புகிறாரு இந்த காலப்பிரமாணத்தை எப்படி வச்சுக்கிறது சில பேர் ரொம்ப ஓடுவா சில பேர் ரொம்ப இதுவாக கம்மியாக இருக்கும் இந்த காலப்பிரமாணத்தை எப்படி சூஸ் பண்ணி மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுறது அப்படின்னு அது நேச்சுரல் காலப்பிரமாணம் என்ன வருதோ அதை எடுத்துப்பேன் எப்போ தான் இந்த வந்து அந்த ஸ்வீடு வேறு அந்த ஸ்வீடு இது சென்ட்ரல் காலமாக தாக்கா தேர்வு கஜோன் தாக்கா தேர்வு கஜோன் தாக்கா தேர்வு கஜோன் தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட அந்த டெம்ப் yeah so what he's saying like for him like uh, choosing a tempo or like maintaining is like you go with the feel that the song requires so he try to say the same sloka in different speeds and then he decide okay this may be too slow for that or this may be too fast and then he kind of fix the tempo so what he suggests is like you just play around and then you get the feel and then you decide the tempo or the time if you want to do it Oh, well my question was that, that some musicians mm. they, they they try to keep the same speed you know like to match a metronome but they or match the rest of the group but they get excited and they speed up or they something mm-hmm. happens they slow down or some right. some musicians have such good feel as soon as they play a simple mm. rhythm everybody loves it and then some piece students and and people you know it's a weakness mm. அதுக்கப்புறம்தான்க்கு ஸ்வீடோ ஸ்லோவோ பண்ணிக்கணும் இப்போ மாடலாக ஞாபகமாக தாக்கா தீர்ப்பி தாக்கா ஜூன் தாக்கா தீர்ப்பி தாக்கா ஜூன் தாக்கா தீர்ப்பி ஜூன் தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட இதுதான் சென்ட்ரல் காலம் ஏன்னா தாக்கா தீர்ப்பி தாக்கா ஜூன் தாக்கா தீர்ப்பி தாக்கிட்ட தாக்கிட்ட இது ரெண்டு தாக்கிட்ட தக்க ஜூன் தாக்கிட்ட தக்க ஜூன் தாக்கிட்ட தக்க ஜூன் தாக்கிட்ட தக்க தீர்ப்பி தக்க ஜூன் தக்க தீர்ப்பி தக்க ஜூன் தரிக்கிறதுக்கு தரிக்கிறது அந்த டெம்போ எந்த ஏதோ நார்மலாக சென்ட்ரல் காலத்தை எடுத்துட்டா அதுக்கு கீழே அதுக்கு டாப் ஐடியா ஸோ த மெயின் திங் இஸ் லைக் யூ ஹாவ் டு ப்ளே மோர் ஆஃப் அண்ட் த சேம் திங் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டு கெட் யூஸ் டு இட் அண்ட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் அக்கார்டிங்லி அண்ட் தென் ஈ சேங் லைக் ஆல்வேஸ் ட்ரை டு ப்ராக்டிஸ் இன் த சென்டர் டெம்போ அண்ட் தென் யூ கேன் கெட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஸ்பீட்ஸ் லேட்டர் அண்ட் வென் யூ லைக் இன்க்ரீஸ் அவர் டிக்ரீஸ் it comes with the experience and then like you know the more you get used to the same song the more you get to know about it better and you know like where to you you have to get the feel you can't like learn the feel you have to feel it to yeah. go with it and your your grandfather is like a very kind of religious uh spiritual guy i'm curious about how he thinks his spirituality and his music are related mm சார் வேலை கேட்குறேன் அவனை பார்க்கறது ரொம்ப பக்தி இதுவாக இருக்கே பக் பக்தி இதுவாக இருக்கே ரொம்ப இப்போ நீ வந்து மியூசிக்கையும் கடவுளையும் தெய்வத்தையும் எப்படி பார்க்குற 
மியூசிக்கும் அந்த ரிலீஜனும் எப்படி ஒன்றா பார்க்குறேன் அப்படின்னு கேட்குறேன் மியூசிக் பண்ணால் தெய்வம் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக வந்துச்சு சரி ஏன்னா இசை அது வந்து எல்லாருக்குமே மொழி டிஃப்ரென்ஸு அந்த சவுண்டு அது வந்து நாதம்னு பேர் அதுக்கு பேர் அது வந்து கடவுளில் போய் நிச்சயம் சேரும் So what is like basically saying is like he doesn't differentiate the instrument and then God. He says like instrument is like his God and then the religion is different and then what music is different. Music is the, its own religion. Music is like it's already a music is a religion. And he has taken all the slokas about his God and then he gave rhythmic arrangements to that and then he's playing that in Gata. Mm. and uh does he have i'm curious what he thinks you know he's played with like as we said uh uh el shankar and mm-hmm. he's played with uh you know zakir sain and john mclaughlin and all these great mm-hmm. musicians uh what does he think the quality is in the greatest of all the musicians what what do these great great musicians mm. have that puts them at a, a higher level uh, yeah ஸோ என்ன கேட்குறாருன்னா நீங்கள் எல்லா பெரிய ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டும் வாசிருக்கேன் ஜான் மெக்லாஃப்லின் ஜாக்கிர் ஹுசேன் எல் சங்கரோடலாம் வாசிச்சிருக்கேன் அவள்கிட்டலாம் என்ன சிறந்த விஷயமா இருந்தது ஏன் அவள் எவ்வளோ பெரிய ஆளாக இருக்கான்னா அதுக்கு என்ன காரணம் அப்படின்னு கேட்குறோம் உழைப்பு ம் அது அதுலேயே சங் அதாவது ஒரு பார்ட் எடுத்தால் அதில் உழைக்கணும் ஃபஸ்ட்டு ரெண்டாவது அதை மெமரி இது பண்ணிக்கிறோம் பண்ணிட்டு அதை அனுபவிச்சு பண்ணால் நிச்சயம் ம் ஸோ ஹி சேஸ் தேர் ஹார்ட் ஒர்க் பேசிக்கலி லைக் they work they practiced a lot when he was traveling with everyone they used to practice hard practice more and more they play the same songs more and more so to get use of the song and then you know like there will be a way like they design the song it's not like very strict like we play this two times and then we go this three times it's just the feel they play the song more often and then they get the feel and we just like they practice more and they work yeah. hard on it and that's what led them to succeed all right well Thank you so much. It's great. It's a it's an amazing world that we can uh share a morning in Chennai with an evening mm-hmm. in New York. Um yeah, yeah. and we're so uh thankful and humbled that your your family has been so generous with the Brooklyn Raga Massive family and um uh we really appreciate learning from you. And that's it's really been wonderful. Thank you David. Thank you Neil for having me here and then I'm so happy to be here like I said before. and it's always feels great to be with around you guys and i really miss you guys i don't know when we going to meet again yeah you know, like in person well we know we will we know that yes yeah. of course i'm really looking forward to for that okay thank you viku ji thank you thank you swami so come on thanks yeah okay god bless you god bless <laughs> thank you thank you man okay yeah. good night everybody good